Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we are doing some extreme deep cleaning today. And I'm just gonna warn you right now, this is disgusting. This is my shower in my master bathroom and it got so bad. So if you are squeamish and you don't like seeing hair in the drain or anything nasty, then this video is definitely not for you. But if you wanna see some super satisfying cleaning motivation and some really good before and afters, then stick around because we are gonna get down and dirty and clean my nasty shower. So I'm just starting off by taking everything out, but I did wanna mention the reason that my shower got this bad is because we have really hard water apparently and I hadn't kept up on cleaning it out weekly. And then also the drain situation has this grate over the top of it and there's four screws and you have to take the screws out to be able to get this grate off and everything just gets trapped under there. So I really just need to make it a priority to take this off more often and clean it out so it doesn't get this bad, but it had definitely been neglected. And so here we are. I'm starting off by pulling all of the hair out and I'm not gonna lie you guys, I was definitely like gagging when I was doing this part and it is so gross. So I actually was sharing this over on Instagram while I was filming this and on there I had posted something along the lines of, if you think every single YouTuber has a clean house, let alone a clean shower all the time, you are highly mistaken. Um, I know this is like totally, totally gross, but hair gets trapped in there and then like soap bubbles get trapped in there and then it just like builds up to like soap scum and then like I said we have hard water too so then it kind of turns that um, like pink color and then also the glass shower doors get really really like filmy so I have tried a lot of different things in my shower doors and nothing really helps I've even tried Rain-X um, the only thing that helps is squeegeeing it after every single shower which we had not been doing um, so I definitely learned my lesson with this shower and um, I'm happy to say for the last week since this video was filmed um, we have been squeegeeing the doors every single day and we've been taking the sprayer and spraying all the soap that's left over spraying it down the drain and also pulling all the hair like off the grate um, after every single shower so that way the soap scum and stuff doesn't build up like it did this time so I'm just using that lime away spray I sprayed it all over and look at that you guys although this is nasty how satisfying is that to see it go from so gross to so clean so quickly um, this video did take me actually just the shower portion of this video did take me two hours to film and um, I was so sore the next day from scrubbing for literally two hours and that alone made me not want it to get like this again because it was so much work but my least favorite chore in the world is cleaning toilets and showers so this is what happened but i promise you guys i am not gonna let it get like this again so soak up this uh super satisfying before and after situation because i promise you <laughs> i promise myself it is not going to be like this again but like i said i'm just using that lime away spray and then i have a couple of these big giant scrub brushes that i use for cleaning various things um, and this one i keep in the bathroom just specifically for the shower so it's going to get a whole lot more use now There were some spots that were not coming clean with the lime away, so I busted out the Clorox bleach and even that wasn't doing it. This little part right here um, on the shower door had some clear caulking on it and there was like mold growing underneath of it. So I ended up scraping it all out and Donnie is going to re-caulk that and reseal it. Um, I didn't want to leave that just sitting there, so I tried to use the bleach and then I got down there really close and I noticed that it was like actually under that clear silicone caulking so I just scraped it all off got rid of that and then I'm using a toothbrush and that bleach to get really deep in the corners just make sure that everything is absolutely sparkling clean and then I am flipping over the grate and I'm gonna go ahead and just continue using the bleach on the rest of the shower except for the doors later on when I'm scrubbing the doors I'll be using that lime away but I'm gonna go ahead and just let the music play Play for a little bit here while I continue scrubbing this grate.
now I am done with the nastiest part of the shower. I'm gonna move on, spray some of that bleach over here on the bench where we had a whole bunch of soap bottles sitting. I definitely don't recommend having soap bottles sitting out on like a flat surface like this. Trying to keep them all up in our little shower caddy from now on so that way it has drainage and then stuff doesn't kind of like pile up around it and then it like that soap scum gets built up. So I am just using that um, scrub brush and I am getting some water. It makes it really sudsy. So I'm just scrubbing down every single square inch of this shower. We do have this window in the top of our shower and the ledge here collects a lot of dust so I'm going in with that bleach and that scrub brush and I'm scrubbing the windows and the track and everything up here because I want the shower to shine. When I was cleaning this wall in the shower, I could not believe how brown it was. As you guys can see, it's like dripping down the wall and it was just dirty looking. It's just so gross. You go in the shower to like get clean and it gets so dirty. So like I said in the beginning of this intro, lesson learned, your girl is gonna be cleaning the shower weekly from now on so that way I don't have to spend two hours scrubbing it. I know, I know, I have a cleaning channel. I make cleaning videos for a living. You would think that like my whole house would just be like spotless all the time, but <laughs> real life here. So I'm taking a toothbrush, I'm taking bleach. I am scrubbing down everything. All right, now we are moving on to the shower door. I'm just using that lime away like I told you earlier that I was gonna use and a scrub brush and I'm doing circular motions, up and down motions, side to side motions. The glass doors get this film built up on there and it just gets really gross and hazy. Like I said, that's from our hard water. So I am definitely gonna be looking into getting a hard water softener 
for our house. The day that I filmed this, I was sharing over on Instagram some before and after photos and you guys had so many great suggestions for me like using a squeegee to squeegee off the doors every single shower and we have been doing that. Like I said, it's been helping a ton. So we're gonna continue to do that. And then a lot of you guys suggested the hard water softener because you had the same problem with like the pink kind of, um, I don't know, like the scum building up. So I'm definitely gonna look into that, but I'm just moving on to the other side now to scrub off that door. And then once I'm done scrubbing with the lime away and rinsing it off, I am gonna go in with my glass cleaner and wipe down the outside of the shower doors and then go back in and wipe down the inside of the shower doors too after I squeegee all the water off. All right, now I'm just gonna put all of my stuff back in my shower caddy. I did get rid of a few things because I didn't use every single thing and I just wanted it all to be up in there so we didn't have any issues on that bench any longer. But now I'm gonna give you some amazing before and afters. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I am definitely going to be keeping up with cleaning my shower every week so we don't have this situation ever again. But now that we are done cleaning out the nasty shower, we're gonna switch gears. I've got some laundry to get caught up on now, so I figured I would include that in this video because laundry is just life. We just do a lot of laundry in this house, and if you guys have kids and a family, I'm sure you do a lot of laundry too. So maybe you guys can turn on my cleaning videos while you fold your laundry and we can get this stuff done together. But I'm just pulling some clean clothes out of the dryer and then getting the wash switched over to the dryer, and I'm also gonna start a load in the washing machine. Just 
Today I'm using my Caldrea Pear Blossom Agave Laundry Soap. I get this from Grove Collaborative and then I'm just using some Snuggle Fabric Softener. I'm not sure where I picked this up, but it's pretty basic at like every single store. But that Caldrea Laundry Soap smells so good, you guys. I have a link for Grove Collaborative in the description box. I love that laundry soap, so definitely check it out if you've never used it before. But now we're gonna head into my room and I'm gonna get that basket of clean clothes folded. Don't you know Wipe the floor of yesterday You can change it anyway And you're never alone Never alone Doesn't matter what they say Doesn't really matter what they do Let go, Baby, let go. me breathe it now Let go, let go Breathe it now Doesn't matter where I go Heart still open, can I close? your eyes see the open sky don't you don't you know shake whatever brings you down all that ties you to the crown cause you're never alone never alone doesn't matter what they say doesn't really matter what they do they go Baby, let me breathe it now Open, can I close? They go, Baby, let me breathe it now. They go, they go, breathe it now. No, 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 Now I'm just getting all of my Nandani shirts and sweatshirts hung up. As you can see, my closet is still nice and organized since I did that closet clean out and organization video. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. I love that video so much. Um, but after I was done with laundry, there's just a few things on the table that needed to be put away. So the kids are coming to get their stuff and helping me get things put away. And then I'm taking my stuff to my room to put away. Once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna take my apple cider Mrs. Myers cleaner. I'm gonna spray down the table and wipe it down. But that is gonna be it for this video. Definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it was so nasty, but I had to share it with you guys because I feel like it's super motivating to see something that is so gross turn into something that is so clean. So definitely be sure to subscribe if this is your first time watching one of my videos so then you won't miss out on any of the others i appreciate you guys so much being here and watching this video thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye